Hello, I'm State Representative Bruce Dammeyer from the 25th District. Thank you for joining me today from the House of Representatives in Olympia. With just two weeks left in the legislative session, state lawmakers are hitting the home stretch in Olympia. In addition to passing hundreds of bills, the state's operating, transportation, and capital budgets must also all be agreed upon before April 26th. Last week, I discussed the operating and transportation budgets with you. Today, I'd like to briefly recap the operating budget situation and then go into some detail about the capital budget. After several hours and 170 amendments and testimonials, the operating budget passed out of the House Ways and Means Committee. I am the number two Republican on this committee, and I voted against the budget. I voted this way because it relies heavily on one-time federal dollars, borrows against our future by raiding state accounts, and fails to enact the spending reform needed to position our state for the future. While I appreciate the budget proposal does not include tax increases, the option is still on the table. Our state must balance its budget within existing tax collections. This will require restructuring state government and finding efficiencies in current programs and services. It also means getting back to the basics by identifying the priorities of state government, which I see as education, public safety, and the protection of our most vulnerable citizens. I also believe our state must fundamentally change its budget process if we are going to ensure sustainability and prevent tax increases in the future. That's why I support a constitutional spending limit, only passing sustainable budgets and putting extraordinary revenue in a rainy day fund in good economic times. These are but a few common sense budget reform ideas, and they are the principles that many of our families and employers are following today. The last issue I want to discuss is our House capital budget. This budget invests in important infrastructure, land use, and other projects in our state. At a time when our state economy is struggling, this budget gives us the chance to help stimulate the economy through necessary projects. And this has been the state's approach in the past. Unfortunately, this year, the majority party has new designs for the capital budget. For example, they want to take more than $780 million from the capital budget and transfer it to the operating budget. That's like using your home mortgage to buy your groceries. I fear this approach would result in many projects and ultimately the jobs that would stem from them being lost. We can't let this happen. The majority party also wants to use the capital budget to buy more state lands. While I am supportive of environmental protection efforts in good economic times, it doesn't make sense to buy more land at a time when we're considering closing state parks. I just think we should be good stewards of the state land we already have before we look to acquire more, especially when our economy is facing these difficulties. I support getting back to the original purpose of the capital budget, making important investments in critical infrastructure, such as schools, water, sewer systems, and other projects. Well, I hope this information is, I've provided you today is useful as you read and hear more about our budget situation. Please know that your voice is especially important in these last few weeks of the legislative session, and I always welcome your letters, calls, and visits. In closing, I want to say it's an honor to represent our district's views. I'm State Representative Bruce Dammeyer. Please take care, and I'll see you again next week.